So hi and welcome back. So um, in the last video we uh, worked on the login page and uh, we got most of it finished except there was a few things um, we were going to fix up in this video um, such as security problems and things. Um, we also have to change a few things in the header file um, and the login, a logout script. We need to make that um, we need to make it a bit more smooth and then in the members file if we get a chance we can do some stuff in there um, but uh, let's get started so uh, here I am on the login page so I'm going to log in um, to my account so um, if you'll remember in the last video I just made one account um, okay okay so there it is now we're going to click login and as you can see here's our member, pa our member page and we know we're logged in because um, Francis is echoed out um, because that's the uh, session username uh, but uh, as you can see up here in the login and create account they didn't disappear and that should change um, when the users logged in because they don't want to log in twice when they've already um, logged in because that just gives them errors so we'll change that first so uh, we're gonna go to the header file and uh, actually up here at the top we're going to go back to our login uh, script and see our session is session username so uh, in the header file what we can say is if uh, session if session uh, username actually no it's if is set so if we say if is set session username so it checks if the session's been set so if the session's been set the user's been logged in if it's not been set the user's not logged in um, so we're just gonna create an if statement and then we're gonna say else uh, so if the session's been created we can assign it to a variable so um, we could create a variable called user and then paste that in so then that means when we refer to the variable user we're actually referring to the session username um, that was created when the person logged in um, so to prevent errors we can actually also come up here and say user equals nothing just to define the or declare the variable and if they're not logged in uh, we want user to also equal uh, zero or uh, nothing uh, okay so now we've done that we can refer to the variable user so um, down here uh, in the menu we can just uh, come in here we can create a PHP tag and what we can say is if um, user since we created the variable up there we could say if user equals nothing uh, then echo uh, this so uh, we're just going to move this down and then um, do this just to uh, close it off so um, what this does is it just says if the user if user equals zero or I mean if user equals nothing which means the user is not logged in um, then we show them the uh, login and the create account buttons so then what we're going to say is um, we can actually come down here and okay that was a, this is a stupid idea um, let's just leave it like that and then do this this way um, it'll just our code will just work better it'll be less confusing as well so if we uh, now we've done the uh, first part of our if statement we need to come down we need to create an else and then uh, we can just copy this once and we can paste it in first we have to say echo and then we move over a bit so now we uh, should just see login whenever we're uh, logged in but that's not what we want so we'll change that to members and we will create one more and this one's going to say log out so um members we can just take it to members.php obviously 
a log out we can take the log out of php so now i've done that we're going to go to the login page and then the uh, log out script is working so um but after the person logs out uh we needed to redirect them somewhere so we're just going to say header location index.php which will just take them to the home page so um now if we uh, come in here and we refresh um so uh, as you can see this has changed so now it says members and says log out so if we click on members first it takes us to the members page and if we click log out now uh, it should destroy the session on the log out page and then redirect us to index.php and we can tell we're logged out because um, create account and login disappear so on the login page now we're going to change um we're going to go to login.php and we are going to change or uh, put a bit of security on. So in these um, variables, when we're parsing them, we're just going to say strip tags um, to get rid of any tags when someone tries to log in so they can't do things like SQL injection. Uh, so now we've done that. Uh, here it says if it's set submit. So I'm actually going to change that to. Um, if is set um, post username um, and post password so that means they have to have both fields um, they have to have something in both fields for it to actually work and then uh, we can try that now so uh, obviously we have to refresh but as you can see uh, if I try to put in some PHP tags and I hit log into my account okay we actually need to change one thing or else we won't be able to see that um, no okay instead of changing the form we can uh, just say echo username uh, okay, we'll just do echo username because that's all we need to prove it works. So um, we're just going to refresh the page. So in here, what I'm going to say is just I'll put in our actual user now. I'll delete the password field and hit login. Um, okay, let's try that again. Okay, so um, when there's something in the password field, uh, we get echoed Francis because that's what I put into the username field. But now if we do the strip tag, or since we did strip tags, whatever we put in, um, you'll see, uh, okay, let's try that again. So uh, I'm actually going to change this to, um, I'll just put in Francis because then uh, that way the user will exist. Okay, let me see. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem here. Um, okay, so the reason for the problem was just because with the strip tags, um, if I hit log into my account, for some reason it isn't. Um, Okay, so uh, what's happening here is the strip tags looks like it's working, but the problem is when I do PHP and it strips the two tags, it's left with a space, but there's no user whose username is a space, so that's what we're getting. That user doesn't exist, but um, that's it, so we can move on because that uh, looks like it's working. So uh, now we've done that, we can go onto the members page and we can... Uh, just create a header or h2 tag and uh, we can say um, members page so I'm just gonna leave it like that and I just thought a better thing to do um, a more fun thing is the profile page so we're gonna do that now um, so uh, I'm gonna go to the video box folder and I'm gonna create a new file called profile.php uh, and obviously we're going to include the header so include 
include slash oops header dot php and here I'm just going to create a h2 tag that says um, we're just going to echo user um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to append um, an apostrophe s on the end of that and or an apostrophe s and then profile so now if we uh, go to profile.php uh, here it is it says Francis's profile so um, what we wanted to do is we want it to be unique to every user so um, the first thing we need to do is we need to say um, we need to create a variable actually so uh, we could create a variable called username and we could call it get you so um, now instead of echoing user we can echo username and you'll see if we do profile.php u equals francis it ch doesn't change but whatever we assign the variable u is what uh, gets echoed on the page so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say francis for now and we're going to say um, we're going to do mysql query act or query actually so um we could just say check username equals mysql query um select username whoops username from uh users where username equals username which is uh, the variable above so then all we have to say is count equals uh, mysql num rows check username if count equals one then uh, do nothing basically or uh, then or else we can just say echo or we could uh, say header header location index.php so that way that we can see if the user doesn't exist so here if I refresh we shouldn't see any change because Francis is a user in the database but if I put a 1 there and hit enter, it redirects us to index.php. So uh, that's good, that means it's working. So uh, I'm going to go to profile.php again, and here it is. So um, now that we've done that, uh, inside the profile page, we want to, um, instead of actually select username, we want to select everything. And then we want to say, um, while row equals mysql whoops mysql fetch asoc or associative or whatever um check username so we're just going to create a while loop so that we can get all the rows um from the database so first one is obviously id is going to be row ID. We can check that this is working by uh, echoing ID. So now, if we uh, refresh, we get one, which is good. That means it's working. Uh, and uh, we can do this for all the other users now. So, um, or not all the other users, for all the other fields. So we have first name, last name username, email, password, um, 
date of birth and then um let's have a look okay so that's all the fields we have at the moment so um that's all we need uh we can now get to work on actually making our profile page look good so um we can assign um okay what we'll do is we will move this h2 tag and we'll just echo echo it here so then now we can remove this and uh, the other php tag so there we have it so now if we refresh Okay, we get one's profile, that's not correct. Username, okay, the reason that is is because we've reassigned the variable username to the row ID. So we just need to change these to first name, last name, username, email, password, and then date of birth. So now if we try it again, it gives us Francis. And then um, underneath we can echo certain things like um, name, uh, first name, space, uh, last name. So there are, um, there are some information there. We can um, put more in, so uh, I don't know, we could say email. Uh, so we'll do those two for now. And the reason I did this was just I wanted to get the basic functionality of the profile done. But um, we're actually going to, which was probably more sensible, and I should have done this at the start. Uh, we're going to go back and just begin the registration because... Uh, I just wanted to get this out of the way and done this basic profile thing and um, we can uh, make it look way better um, in the next w few videos we will be um, well the profile won't be a channel so uh, what we'll do is we'll change we'll uh, give users the option to create a channel if they want and then um, uh, they'll have a separate page for their channel so uh, now we've done that I've got the basic profile stuff done we're going to create the registration page so uh, join that PHP uh, so on the profile page we can just copy this first line so uh, on the header file we can change login or uh, change create an account to join that PHP so if we log out we click create an account it takes us to join that PHP uh, then we're going to say create your current so now we have that uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a form obviously so uh, form action equals uh, join dot php and the method is going to be post because we're sending data away to database so uh, we can go to the login page and copy some fields so we can paste this in a few times so the name of the first one is first name last name Username can stay, email, password, and then um, we'll have password, repeat. Uh, we could have another one in, and we could call it date of birth. Okay, the date of birth one will be a bit different. So uh, we'll leave that for now. Uh, so now I've done that, we've given them unique names. We're going to just change this. Just to avoid confusion. Uh, 
Um, for the registration, we'll leave everything as text, including the passwords. So now you can see if we refresh, we have all our fields, and we need a submit button, so we'll just add that now. So input type submit, name, register, and then value, create your account. So there we have our fields. Um, so we're going to start with the uh, validation. So the first thing we're going to say is if um, post submit which are a register actually because that's the name of it then we're going to echo registered okay so we need to just put the at sign in front of that for some reason i don't know why but we'll just put the at sign there and click create account and there's right re uh, registered shows up Okay, so that means it's working. So then what we're going to say is we're going to first check the um, check that everything's been uh, everything's got like um, uh, every field has been filled in. So what we're going to say is first name equals So we're just going to say, we're just going to assign uh, the contents of each field to a variable. Email. We're going to say password one. And then we paste it in one more time to get password to and then password repeat all right password repeat so uh now i've done that we're just going to say if first name equals nothing then we just echo or we're going to uh, say error equals a uh, first name cannot uh, be left empty uh, so underneath here we're just gonna say HP echo error and then up here we're going to say error We're just going to uh, create the error variable um, and assign it nothing so it's blank so that uh, we won't get any errors from it not being already declared. Then what we're going to say is we're just going to change this to, um, these for each one of them. Last name. Um, password one, password two. So we'll say password can't be left blank and then repeat password cannot be left blank. So let's try this now. Let's click on all these so they disappear, um, their values. We're going to click create account. Okay, undefined variable. Okay, that's because it's a capital E. There's no capital E in it. So we'll try it again. Just click all these to get them blank. And then we're going to click create account. Repeat password. Um, okay. So the reason for this is because uh, we just need to put an else in here. We'll say else if uh, 
let's just keep going and then paste this one here. So now you can see first name cannot be left empty. So if we click all of them except first name, we should get last name cannot be left empty and it'll do that for each field. So unfortunately I'm out of time now in this video. But in the next video, we'll be finishing this uh, registration form off. And if we have time, we will be improving the uh, profile page because it's a bit bad at the moment. The only reason that we did it was to get some of the basic things for it out of the way. Um, so I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And, uh, well, I'll see you next time.